Hey guys, it's Jack and I'm back in another video and today, if y'all could not see from the title of the video, I'm here with a video just being about me. Today is February 23rd, 2022, and today is actually my birthday, so that's why I'm just making this video. This video's gonna be all over the place, but with that being said, cue the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I wanna be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed my new intro because it was an intro made by my friend Ken and my friend Ken is just an amazing editor. I love him. I want him to be my full-time editor. Like fingers crossed, hopefully he can be my full-time editor. But yeah, so shout out to him. He made that new intro. I know it's a little lengthy, but I just love it. So I hope you guys love it too. But yeah, with that being said, let's just get started with the video. So basically in today's video, I really don't have a plan because last year I did a 20 facts about me for my birthday because I was turning 20 and I didn't want to do that again because I'm turning 21. But for since I'm turning 21, I just wanted to have a sit down, talk, and talk to y'all just about my life and just how I have gotten here and what has led me to get to 21 and stuff like that. So that's basically what y'all can expect in today's video. And with that being said, here's a quick word from my sponsor. So for today's sponsor, it is Filippo Loretti. Filippo Loretti is an Italian luxury watch company for men and women. Y'all can check out the website and the link will be in the bio. On the website, they have a mass variety of men and women watches that y'all can choose from. And if y'all do pick out a nice new watch, y'all can use my code JackieWongers, hashtag 15 at checkout for 15% off your new watch. So for me, I chose this watch. I will come and show y'all a closer look in a second, but for now I chose this watch because for me I feel like this goes with my aesthetic because I have silver earrings uh, my chain is silver and I just feel like personally I feel like I look better in silver than gold so that's why I chose this watch and I just feel like it's clean you can't go wrong with it and I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time so this is what the watch looks like on I just feel like it looks so clean and I just feel like you can't beat Filippo Loretti and just for the price you pay for it I just feel like you just can't beat this and just a huge shout out to Filippo Loretti for just giving me this opportunity. I'm just very thankful for y'all and just a huge shout out to y'all. And, you know, with that being said, check out the website and use my code JackieWongers, hashtag 15 for 15% for off your new watch. And with that being said, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. So basically into this video, I really don't have a plan, like I said, and I'm just going to kind of just go in with the flow. Um... The time you guys are seeing this is going to be my birthday, February 23rd, 2022. So yeah, if you guys don't know, I was born on February 23rd, 2001. And that makes me a Pisces baby. And that also makes me 21 today, as the day you guys are seeing this. And yes, I am old. I feel old. Let me know. Like, just comment me. Roast me in the comments or whatever. But I know I'm old. Every time it comes around my birthday time, every single year, or well, the past couple of years at least, I've always been more emotional than normal because... I don't know, when it comes to my birthday time, it just makes me feel old and like I'm realizing that I'm getting older and I guess I just have more responsibilities and stuff like that. And it's just crazy because I've been alive for 21 years and I just, it's crazy. And I'm just so thankful to be here, you know what I'm saying? I'm so thankful for my family, for what they've done and what they've sacrificed for me to be here. So yeah, so shout out to the family, shout out to my dad, my mom, my sister, you know, definitely. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I would definitely not be able to be doing what I'm doing. Or, like, without them, I wouldn't be the guy I am. So, definitely shout out to them and much love to them. You know, I love my family. I just feel like in this video, y'all will probably get to know me more. So, that's basically kind of like another 20 facts about me. But I feel like this way y'all will get like an inside of my mind, I guess. So, basically, the title of this video will probably be like Inside the Mind of Jackie Wongers. My mind works a lot differently than a lot of other people's because so like to start things off I would say I'm an overthinker I overthink about a lot of things and that's probably one of my flaws um but that's just who I am I overthink about everything that's like one thing I wish I could change but you know that's just how I am I try not to overthink but you know it's much easier said than done and I talk to my friends about it and it's just life you know I overthink about everything because I guess I'm a very caring guy and it's just Sometimes it, it fucks me in the ass, but, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's good to think because it's just, I guess I just care. I care about a lot of things. I'm a very caring guy. Also, in my mind, I just feel like I'm put on this earth to do something big. I feel like I'm put on this earth to, like, just be big. I don't know. Like, I just feel like I'm destined for greatness, you know what I mean? So, like, that's why I put, I put a lot of pressure on myself because I expect nothing but greatness because it's like, 
I'm a first generation American. My mom and dad like came from another country. My mom's from Taiwan, my dad's from Malaysia. And I just know they sacrificed a lot for me to be here and for me to have a better life. So that, that's why I feel like I put so much pressure on myself to succeed and it fucks me sometimes because when I like, if I one mess up, one like, not like just basically if I feel like any setbacks, I feel like a failure because I, that's just the way my mind works. And I, I it, it fucks me, but it, like it, it beats me up so much, but it just makes me mad because I want to be great. I want to be great in what I do. I take everything I do very, very seriously. Whether it's like, like I'm a hard worker. Like, so if I'm a, if I'm a trash can collector, I don't know what those are called, but if I collect trash, I'm gonna be the best goddamn trash collector out there. You know what I mean? I try to be the best at what I do. So yeah, and what really like affects me sometimes because I've been doing YouTube for a long time. Um, my like fun fact actually, my five years on this channel will be June fifth. So stay tuned for that because I don't know what I'm gonna do for that video. But with that being said, it's taken me five years to get to a thousand subscribers. While some for some it takes them five months to get to a million. But it's just like I can't compare myself to them because that's their story and this is my story. And I just keep doing what I'm doing. Like this year, I've been consistent every single week. I've been uploading every Wednesday. Uh, I've been doing my best, you know what I mean? So like, I hope you yeah, have been noticing, but I've been uploading every single Wednesday because this is my dream. I love to entertain people. I love to make people laugh and smile just because there's so much sadness and just negativity in this world i just try to make people laugh and smile and spread positivity at least i try to do my best it just sometimes it gets hard because i get sad sometimes and you know i don't want to fake it for y'all you know what i mean so i try to do my best you know because sometimes i do need some days because some days are harder than others and I will say I'm getting better. I'm taking everything day by day. I'm not running away from my problems. I'm trying to face them head on because there's no point in me running. It's just pointless. I'm just trying to become a better me and be the best me as I possibly can be. So when it comes to me turning 21, the one thing I think about is what have I accomplished in my life? And I really sit here and like think, I was gonna make a video of like 21 things I've accomplished, but I had to sit there and think, I was like, I haven't accomplished much in my life. Or at least to me, I feel like I haven't accomplished many things. Maybe a lot of people can see it differently. Like outside of this can be like, oh, you're going to college. That's a big thing. You graduate high school. That's a big thing. But from my point of view, it's like, what have I really done? Like, I don't know. I, I guess I expect a lot from me. <laughs> and like, uh, I, I want to succeed. And like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry to succeed. And like I said, some days are easier than others, but like, um, them bad days have been gone because it's just like, I take it day by day and it's just like, I'm hungry to succeed. I want to be great. I'm making this video because it's, yeah, I get the inside of my mind. This is the real me. That's how I feel. Like, I'm not always that happy, go lucky. I don't know what that word is, but I'm not always, I'm not always happy and stuff like that in my video. Sometimes I fake it. I'm not gonna lie. But that's not who I want to be, though. I want to be myself. And yes, yeah, so that's basically inside my mind. I know my mind be all over the place. My mind ooh, is something else. I'm telling you, from football, after I got my concussions, that's when, like, my mind been, like, more fucked up than ever. But, like, no. Nah, if y'all play football, be careful. Because, I'm be honest, my concussions for football definitely have impacted me a lot. But I wouldn't go back and change this thing because I still love football. I love football. Um, it's always been my first love and always will be a part of me. And I just, sometimes I do wonder like, oh, what if I chose the football path, you know? But who knows, it is what it is. I chose this path because everything in life happens for a reason and I'm here for a reason. I'm saying all of this because I feel, I'm saying all this because I'm turning 21. I just feel older, I feel wise. Um, it's crazy, 21. I just never thought I would be here. Like, I have, been through so much in my life you know met so many people lost so many people not like lost like they died but like you know met and like don't talk to if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah i met a lot of people and then lost like our connection with people like a lot of people from high school i don't talk to and it's crazy a lot of people from my freshman year of college which is only like two years ago i don't talk to 
So it's just crazy to me how life goes and how people come and leave your life. But like I said, but everything in life happens for reasons. The people that who are in your life are in your life for a reason. The people who aren't in your life are not in your life for a reason. And I'm just very thankful. I do have a very good friend group here now, like with Chris and Kyle. Even though sometimes we probably get on each other's nerves and stuff like that, but we all have love for each other for the end of the day, you know, like the brotherly love, you know. So it's just, uh, I love them and I appreciate them. I probably do not tell them as much as I need to, but you know, it is what it is. And just know that everything in life happens for a reason and just life gets better. Take it day by day. You can't control the past and you can't control the future. You just have to live in the moment. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm perfect. No, I go through a lot. I'm not perfect. I'm still learning. Um, my mind, like I said, is all over the place. I'm just taking things day by day. Me turning 21 does not mean nothing because, oh, just because I'm old enough to drink and go to clubs and stuff like that, which I might do, but that's not the point. Um, I'm still learning a lot because I still have a lot to learn. Everything in life you can learn from, and it's just, I'm just taking it day by day and just learning from my past experiences, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds because like I said, I feel like I'm put on this side to do something big, and I'm gonna do something big. But yeah, with that being said, if y'all want, y'all can go down in the comments and tell me happy birthday, you know what I'm saying? Support your boy. Um, also, just tell everyone y'all know to subscribe because you know we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and I appreciate it. You know what I mean? But with that being said, with another year, I turn another age. I don't know how that saying goes, but yeah, I'm 21 now. Um, it's crazy. It's really crazy in my opinion, but you know, never that I'll be here. Hopefully, there's more to come. Hopefully, I'll see y'all for my 30th birthday or whatever. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'll bring y'all along on my journey. And I just want to say, I just thank y'all. I love and appreciate every single one of y'all who have been with me or who are going to ride with me. And just know I love and appreciate every single one of y'all. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video is probably a random video that was all over the place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like, a, you know, a little quick inside my mind, you know, video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share your boys out.